right, guys. Our good friend Tobey has acquired another vehicle. A surprise, surprise. This time we have a 2008 335. As you can see, it's bone stock. Won't be like that for long because he's got deep pockets. So we got the red interior with the wood grain automatic. It's already got the car, the uh, iDrive with the CarPlay. Motor wise, bone stock. Stay tuned to see just how far we can go. Two hours later. All right, so first mod we did is we took the halogen bulb out for the halo rings and we put in the Lux uh, H8 bulbs. And then we also swapped the chrome grills for the black grills. Kind of refreshes the front end a little bit, makes it a little bit sleeker looking. So this is just the first of many things to start on this car. Much later, much, much later, much, much later, much, much, much later, the following Thursday. What's up, Fudge? Ooh. What do we got in the bay? We have the world's most expensive 335 in existence. Um, Porsche exclusive? We got, uh, <laughs> Arctic Grey? <laughs> I, got, I got to send you a picture so you can take a picture before this thing and just wear Well, we have the videos from when this yeah, car got dropped yeah, off. True. So we'll play that before gonna be they'll see it. Video. Yeah, they'll see this. Video. So we did the suspension already. Um, we did the wheels, we did the brakes. The uh, clear bra is done. So now we're going into like the maintenance thing, which usually right. people start with, but. Yeah, so before yeah, we yeah. touched this car, it came in silver. Yeah. It was silver. Yep. Now it's Arctic gray. It's a Porsche color. Yep. Um, and we have full PPF on it. Yep. And Fudge is going to explain something he's doing in the trunk. Right. So put a new battery in the car, right? Yep. One of the most important things to do when you put the battery in, well, you actually have to do it, or you're supposed to do it, is uh, recode the battery to the car. Because what will happen is, right, let's say this battery has 80,000 miles on it. There's a battery sensor on the ground side that's actually reading it's kind of like your phone battery, how it has a percentage, so it's mm -hmm. reading. You know, after you charge your phone for a while, it kind of like loses charge, and then, you know, you have to replace the battery. Same thing here. So what's going to happen is when the IBS is saying, hey, this battery is old, and I'm kind of like, I can't really hold the charge anymore. If you just take a brand new battery and you put it in the car, the car still thinks that the car is like that. So it's actually going to overwork your alternator. And not only will you cause damage to the alternator, you're going to overcharge that battery and probably cause damage to the battery. So a lot of people have what they say electrical system problems, oh, the BMWs, electrical systems. It's because you're not doing the right thing. Right. Put a new battery in the car, recode it, and I guarantee you'll never put an alternator in one of these cars. Right. You know what I mean? So. Cool. Just a little fun fact. So after the battery, we'll go over the list of parts we got this thing yeah. and uh, go from there. Yeah. Thanks, Fudge. All the parts. Starbucks a day keeps the doctors away. You dig? Cold brew. Chocolate cold Every brew. morning, bro. You go Not to? Not me every morning. Me every, every morning. morning. Yeah, I do. I do. I go like once a week. I treat myself. Dude. What do you want? And we're back. What do we got here, Fudge? So these are what we call too much money. Um, Back on Toby's so this, car. This is... Well, yeah, but just in general, how much these injectors cost nowadays is insane. Okay. It's probably, I think it's almost $400 a injector. Um, so basically, this is your direct injectors yeah. for the M54. 
Um, it is used in other motors, the V8s, <clears throat> stuff like that. So, if you look at this injector, right, there's two things you're going to want to look at. You're going to look at this top right number, okay. which is your index number, and you're going to look at these two these um, two rows right here with the six numbers. That's your flow rate. So when you're changing in an N54 injector, the number up here is kind of like an indication of how old it is. So if you look at these, which is our new ones, yep. a number 12. So this means that this is the 12th revision of this injector. Okay. That's how many problems they've had with these injectors. This is the sixth revision That's of the this sixth injector. Revision. All right. Back when the cars were like newer and they were releasing the, the updates on them, you could get these injectors replaced at BMW for free. Um, so they, 12 revisions later, this, so if you look at this car, 666 and then 11 11 11 so somebody had done the front ones twice right. and then the, the rear ones once okay um what's common on these is you can kind of see water got into the top of this one yep and it kind of like looks like it corroded a little bit these injectors weren't too too bad the um one common failure is what will happen is the internals will fail and then this tip will actually start just dripping while okay. the car is off and then what happens is the gas will get by the piston rings and it'll get into oil, it'll thin out the oil, and you'll toast your bearings, right? So that's a common issue. Um, there's just back again. <laughs> <laughs> so issues with these injectors, there's really nothing you can do about it. You replace them. There's yep. companies out there where you can send out these old injectors and they kind of clean them out, which helps. Um, or if you buy a set of used 12s, like these only have like, I think it was like 13,000 miles on them. It's not a bad idea to send these out to get cleaned also. Okay. Um, and then we're gonna replace the Teflon seal here and then these crush um, washers here also get replaced. Sweet. So the other number on here, the flow rates, right? You can see how they're all different. Literally yeah. every single one of them is different. Yeah. So after you replace these injectors, you have to code them to the car. Because that's going to tell the car how much flow rate each injector has. Okay. If you don't do that, it's going to be flowing at the wrong rate. And it's not going to be running right. And there's going to be all types of issues. So that's very important to do. Pretty much anything with these cars, you know, other than the mechanical stuff, you have to code it so the car knows that it's, that it's right. Right. Um, so we're going to replace these injectors with all Index 12, get rid of the old stuff. Okay. And then we're going to code them. Uh, we have the... New high pressure fuel pump in. Sweet. Um, we have a new low pressure sensor here, which oh, also is an updated part. Yep. Okay. Um, and then we're going to be doing the low pressure pump. We're going to be doing the new Precision Raceworks uh, fuel pressure regulator side, which is a really really nice piece. Sweet. Um, but I also want to just note how clean the top of this motor is. You can see it's nice and silver. Looks good. If people haven't been neglecting their oil changes, these the cam, which these are called the cam ledges, yeah. they kind of have like a brownish bronze to them, um, which means that the oil kind of got burnt out and it's been running there for a while. But this one you can see it has 130K on it and it's it's still it's silver. Clean. So somebody was definitely taking care of this. And uh, also a good thing to check is your, your chain slack. I mean, this thing is tight, tight. as hell. So yeah, that's good there. Sweet. So it's a good motor. Um, this thing should run like night and day after with your carbon thing too. It's it's pretty choked up with carbon. Um, Toby should be happy. Cool. Yeah. Thanks, bud. Still on Tobey's car. Still on Tobey's car. We're gonna be on it for a while. Um, notice anything different? Something chunky. What do we got here, Fudge? So this is a VRSF uh, seven inch intercooler. So there's kind of three stages of it. Then the, there's a five inch one that cuts off right here. And then this is the seven one. So it has the five inch with a two inch step right here. Um, and then they have the thousand, which goes up to like, uh, it's ridiculous. All the way up to like yeah, the top. It's pretty yeah. wild. But just to compare and contrast, this stock. Is stock intercooler. Yeah, that's a big difference. So yeah, I mean, you're adding like 
probably almost three times the size. I mean, just look how big this core is. Yeah. yeah. Um, so one thing about the VR is that, so this is your, the outlet pipe up here. Okay. This is a stock connection to the intercooler. This one, you cut off this pipe, this uh, clamp here, and then you actually add a silicone there. So it's a little bit bigger of a, of a pipe, a little bit more air. Cool. And then we have the, this will have a, um, like a 90 degree elbow and then it has an aluminum pipe, which is right here. So the other thing is with these pipes, <laughs> this is your stock pipe, plastic. So this over time, if you have enough boost going through the car, this can actually blow out and crack. Um, so this is, replaces that and then that will go up to the aluminum charge pipe with the uh, tile blow off. So all the piping is all set to go for bigger turbos or whatever he wants to do. Um, and it won't break apart. Sweet. fudge with a car that's never gonna leave the shop Tobey's 335 video project like car that? yeah I've been filming Marion looks good okay. but not me looks good the lights you look good here I'm the star of the show the walls look good the lighting's good <laughs> And we're back. Dancing queen. <laughs> um, this car is never gonna leave. Yeah, I don't even know like where we left off. Um, but let's pick up where we well, are on now. Today's agenda. What's today? The bumper's still not PPF. Yeah, that was, I was There's just gonna two, say that the months. bumper's still not PPF. Everything else is though. Yeah. So we got to PPF the bumper still. Um, we're gonna get our other PPF guy to do that. Right. <laughs> I'm just gonna PPF it myself. Yeah, I think I'm you should at this point. Yeah. This it's crazy. I'm just gonna learn, I'm just gonna man up and learn. So yeah. Fudge, what what did you uh, start on the 335 today? Um, so we actually did a. This car did it wasn't in a sport model, so it didn't have the paddle shifters on the wheel. Okay. So we got a retrofit kit that came with a harness, and then uh, we got paddles in there and everything. Oh, so let's check them out. Done. We didn't so see the we didn't see the fresh use, paddles yet. Yeah. So and we got course, a new wheel. Tobey, this is about the 67th wheel I've done for him. Yeah, Tobey special wheel. And then we yeah, got... We got the paddles going on. Paddles. So fully functional now. That's sweet. So typically these don't come with paddles. This model doesn't. You have to go to sport model to okay. come with paddles. Yeah. All right. Um, which is 328, 335, it doesn't matter. Yeah. with the SSG paddles. Okay. So that's all set up. Um, he cheaped out and he got a cheap high pressure fuel pump. <laughs> <laughs> You're throwing him under Even the bus. He didn't talk, well, first of all, here's the thing. The one in the car had nothing wrong with it, so there was no reason to change it. Right. But Tobey being Tobey, you know, for some reason he just changed it. Got a cheap old one. Yeah. It failed. So now we have the OEM. Wow. 1K. And now what's the difference between an OEM Well, if you look here, a... this one was remanufactured. You could see, like, the RTV right here. And you can oh, see yeah, that there's uh -huh. no RTV here. So um, you think you were getting some leaks there, some... No, it's not, it's maybe not so leaks, but you just, you never know if somebody opens it up. And then, right. Um, <laughs> Why are you calling Tobey cheap, bro? That's not nice. He, he did cheap. Excuse guy. me, Dancing Queen. This is my, my, this is my. It's Fudge's, time. Fudge's time right now. Thanks, Ryan. So. Silently. <laughs> We sound a little under the sea over there. <laughs> um, so Just we're like putting Tobey's an OEM exhaust. High pressure fuel pump in, which are very expensive these days. This whole fuel system is very expensive. Right, because we sh replace... we showed them the injectors. Yeah. Um, that we were put in already. Yeah. Just to um, replace that pump and the injectors the, in today's prices is like you're like at like forty five hundred dollars. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we're doing that. We're doing that, and then running the car. Um, hopefully it'll make its way next door for PPF. Just for the front. Everything else is done. Yeah. And then um, we are tuning it. Cool. So, and then I don't know if you got the rear sway bar. Did you get that? I think Probably we not. did. I think we did. It's, it's all right. You know, it's all modern. New sway bars recently. in there. Joe's had three videos recently. I'm just out here. I'm just getting lights. Sway bars installed. So, 
335 is coming to an end. We hope. See the wall now? It's black. But like, oh, we missed the spot. <laughs> we ran out of paint, bud. <laughs> Need just that one little. That one. <laughs> That's, the eye is looking at you up there. Oh, it's a hidden See camera? That? Yep. Yeah. Thanks, well, bud. Right. He had bigger issues. Thanks, bud. Yeah.